Hello there beautiful beings and welcome to my sacred space. My name is Raven. Thank you so much for being here. This is another dashboard reading. What are dashboard readings? These are basically just a snapshot of what is pressing in your life right now. What needs attention in your life right now. So we're going to have a look at life, love, and work or finances. Just very quick reading. Um, so yeah. Um, Please note that the readings that I do on my channel are timeless, so whenever you find this video, that is when you're meant to receive this guidance from spirit. Also, these are general, so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind as a way of an energy exchange between you and I. I would like to ask you to please focus your gaze on the decks that we have in front of you or the crystals um, on top of them, and whichever one, you know, um, kind of like pulls you in. Choose that one, the first one, or you can close your eyes and think, you know, one, two, three, you know, which one calls out to you the most. That way, um, that way, your intuition will be working with mine and we can be assured of a more accurate reading, okay? So for group number one, we have the Peach Moonstone with the Joy de Vie Tarot. And group number two, we have this Blue Aragonite with the Tarot of the Divine. Group number three, we have Carnelian and Wheel of the Year Tarot. Once you're ready, we're going to proceed with the readings. Hello there, beautiful beings from group number one. If your intuition guided you to select this Peach, Moonstone, or the Joie de Vivre Tarot, this is going to be your reading. Kindly be reminded, the readings that I do on my channel are timeless. So whenever you find this one, that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from Spirit. Also, these are general readings. So please only take what resonates with you and your situation and kindly leave the rest behind, okay? This deck is a gift from An Aquarian Sense. Anna of An Aquarian Sense, thank you so much for this. Um, Joy de Vie deck. Okay. Group number one, what's pressing right now? What do they need to know right now? What energies is, are surrounding them right now in terms of life, love, and finances? Thank you so much, angels and spirit guys. Can you please give me guidance to read for group number one, please? What do they need to know most right now, please? Thank you so much, angels and spirit guides. I'm truly grateful for your presence, protection, and guidance. I'm truly, truly grateful. Two of coins. Hierophant. And the five of wands. Okay, the energy that's coming through here with the two of coins, I feel like there is a need for you to do some time management. Okay, I feel like there are some things in your life right now that you feel like a little bit overwhelmed with. Okay, it has something to do with work, it has something to do with structure. With the higher fund showing up here, it has something to do with you know traditions, or you know, these are kind of like um, things that you, you, you're really, um, these are decisions that involve basically, um your beliefs in life do you know what i mean like this is um this is not an easy decision that you're that you're making here okay could also involve marriage or or you know a higher level of commitment but i feel like this is something that is pressing and you need to manage your time you're juggling things okay the two of um coins two of coins is two of pentacles so yes you know there's a need for you to manage it okay Mm. You're 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 being asked to be a little bit more flexible. Do you know what I mean? Huh. What's coming through is, you know, there has been there have been quite a lot of arguments back and forth with this thing you know with the time management i don't know this is life you know this is a general the, the most general part of the reading so you can apply it to your work your life your hair you know but i'm sensing a little bit more about work here so maybe i don't know this could be as as petty as you know you needing to come in at work um a little bit you know um, earlier so that you can finish all of your tasks or you know this could be you know you know really legit like literally time management for you or being able to make decisions that are you know in alignment with you know with the standards or you know the the, the values or um the the corporate core values of your company you know what i mean and i feel like in the past what has happened is you know there there has been a little bit of back and forth in this you know the, the five of wands also can be like being challenged at work you know so I'm, I'm really sensing work vibes here so take it how it resonates but yeah find the time to 
weigh everything okay find yes the, a lot uh, this is a lot to do with time okay so find the time to weigh everything and make sure that you are able to balance okay it's important that you are a little bit more flexible with the things that you need to do find things for you to be a little bit more productive at work so that you know everything will be you know in balance sorry okay what about what about life sorry what about love spirit what do they need to know in terms of love what energies are surrounding them in terms of love spirit energy surrounding them in terms of love please thank you so much ace of coins ace of pentacles okay could be manifesting a new love okay let's see nine of cups yes indeed wishes fulfilled and the six of wands wow you have very beautiful cards in terms of love okay your love life is kind of like you know it's good okay i feel like there is something that you have been manifesting okay but you have perhaps you have been manifesting a new person in your life or like a new um you know uh, a spark in your romance you know and i'm sensing you're gonna get that because you have your wish fulfillment card here okay i feel like you're you're going to be able to enjoy each other like if you're with someone in a relationship already i feel like you're going to be able to enjoy each other's company a little bit better because um you have you know successfully manifested a new beginning you know yes you never really broke up with this person or maybe you have or you know take it how it resonates but i feel like whatever it is you have rekindled the romance successfully Okay, we have the nine of cups here so this is very good news okay you are very successful in that this is a success card and this is also a success card so you know very very beautiful cards in terms of your love life i'm sensing okay for some of you there could have been a new beginning with this new person and maybe you were waiting for this person to kind of like um you know define the relationship with you or kind of like you know discuss like okay what are we doing are we moving forward are we a couple now i feel like there is some recognition here for you so six of wands is here not only to signify success but also also to signify that you know yes you will get the recognition that you need or that you wanted in the first place with this person so maybe you're going to be official okay okay what about um finances and career anything spirit Three of Swords, mm -hmm. King of Swords, the Chariot. There is someone right now in your company or at work or in your business. Um, there is someone there who's very smart, very intellectual. This could be a mentor. This could be someone. This could be your boss. Okay, but there is someone there who's kind of like giving you a little bit of uh, <laughs> I don't want to say heartache, you know, but a little bit of disappointment in terms of work. Three of Swords. Okay, so you might be feeling a little bit unworthy or maybe this is a new co colleague or you know maybe this is someone who's new in the company a new boss you know but i'm sensing that you're feeling a little bit unhappy with this person on board you know spirit is just saying to move forward okay focus on the things that you need to focus on in terms of your work in terms of your money focus on the money if that's what you're you know if this is um just finances or your business just focus on what is it that you know matters why are you working what what, what is it what what is it that you're getting from work money what for why do you need money to survive to provide for my family to provide for my cats you know focus on those things okay yes i understand that you might be feeling a little bit hurt you might be um you know you're you're, you're disappointed right now and you're sense MC, i'm really sensing a lot of like um you know hurtful like, not gonna be for everyone but for some of you i feel like somebody uh, somebody who's going to watch this reading there is someone here Who's going to watch this reading who was um like um was applied for you know this person applied for a promotion or was in line for a promotion but another person got it um and you're feeling hurtful uh, you're feeling betrayed uh with by your boss or your mentor and spirit is saying to just again you know you have success the chart card is here the chart is basically you know reminding you to take the reins of your life you know you hold the key to your life you 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 grab those reins okay and you know direct where you want to go you have the seahorses here all you need to do and, but you see the seahorses here are like facing this the opposite way and that's because you're you're still kind of like you know there's you're still not moving on you're still hurt from this okay this could have happened yesterday this could have happened like maybe a week and a half ago you know whatever it is you need to collect yourself because in order for you to get success you need to move forward you, keep, you need to keep moving forward you need to you know don't dwell on things that um 
you know, are not gonna be productive for you. Okay, understand the hurt feelings, but success is in your cards. You just need to refocus. Okay, there you go, refocus. Okay, angels and spirit guides, can you please give us advice for group number one, please? advice for group number one thank you it's time to transform okay um malachite okay in connection to the decisions that you're you're making okay you need to transform perhaps you're not very good in terms of your um time management in the past you're you know, you know um you're unable to um commit to the deadlines so you need to you need to you know i said be a little bit more flexible find a way to forgive Okay, I don't know why the find a way to forgive card showed up here. Um, let me see. Why is it here, spirit? Find a way to forgive. Okay. Earlier when I said, you know, you're rekindling the romance, I feel like maybe in the past there, was a, there must have been some sort of like a squabble with the person. Judgment, yes, you know. Okay. Judgment showed up. So, you know, perhaps, like, yeah, this is definitely some sort of, like, um, for anyone out there who, who kind of, like, you know, needed to resurrect the, resurrect the relationship, like, you know, transform the relationship and have a fresh start. Find a way to forgive. Because you will have um, the happiness that you need and you desire once you're able to forgive, okay? This is not going to be for everyone because, like I said, you know, we, we saw two or three separate different meanings for this card. But for those who are trying to, you, you know who are reigniting the relationship, you know, this is your advice, okay? Always find a way to forgive. And for group number three, open up your heart. Yes, because right now your heart is blocked, okay? Your chakra, heart chakra is blocked because you feel, you feel betrayed, you feel disappointed, you feel hurt. And I don't blame you, but in order for you to really move forward in life, you need to heal yourself. So open up your heart, okay? To invite new possibilities and new... Um, opportunities here mate that is what i have for you group number one if this reading resonated with you please let me know in the comment section below um please give it a, a like or um please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy readings like this because i do come up with one or two readings um per week um what else thank you so much for being here and i hope i see you again soon in one of my future videos bye Hello there beautiful beings from group number two. If your intuition guided you to select the blue aragonite crystal or the tower of the divine, this is going to be your reading. Tonight we're doing a dashboard reading which is basically a quick snapshot of the energy surrounding you um, this time when you eventually watch this video. Also be reminded that all of the readings that I do on my channel are timeless. So whenever you find this one, that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from spirit. Um, if the mic sounds or my voice is coming off differently, that's because I'm not, you know, I'm charging my phone, so I'm not using the mic, so. Also, uh, I forgot to mention, or have I, I don't even remember, but my readings are general, so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind, okay? Thank you so much, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance, protection, and presence. Can you please help me read for group number two, please? What do they need to know most right now in terms of life, love, and finances? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. The lovers. Ace of coins. And seven of swords. Wow. Okay, you know, the lover's card is not always about love, okay? Before, it, it, it was actually, um, it used to be the choice card, okay? So, I feel like there is a need for you to make a choice, okay? So, take it how it resonates. It doesn't always have to be love-related, okay? But there is definitely a choice that you, meet, that you need to make. A choice, perhaps, you could be partnering with someone in terms of... Um, like a new business because we have the ace of coins here which is also you know the ace of pentacles which means that you know this could be like you're um you're probably starting off a new business with a friend or um take it how it resonates but i feel like um this is an opp new opportunity for you you're 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 starting fresh okay um what else about the lover's card what am i sensing i'm not really sensing Because immediately when I saw their lover's card, I didn't feel like it's about a romantic connection. Could be um, a work partnership. Do you know what I mean? Could be one of those. Okay. Um, it's so strange because spirit just—I just felt the need to grab the um, 
peach moonstone okay i don't know like maybe if you're holding a peach moonstone i don't know okay but what you need to do right now is be very very mindful because we have the seven of swords here okay and the seven of swords is a card that means i don't want to always say and you know deceitfulness and betrayal but basically that's it you know there is someone out there who you know maybe one of the choices or maybe you know if you make a wrong choice with this partnership or whatever you could be pretend you could potentially face some sort of like like trouble okay in terms of your business okay this person might not be as honest as you think they are so just be a little bit mindful with the people that you choose or the partnership that you join <laughs> i apologize it's magnus um how about love? What do they need to know in terms of love spirit? I apologize for that. Group number two. Alright. So, yeah. For love, please, spirit. Thank you so much. Mm, ten of swords. The hangman. Eight of coins. I feel like you have been working really hard on something you know i feel like you have been trying to work hard on yourself i feel like because the, the hangman I'm, I'm sensing two possible energies from the hangman it's, it's as if you're being asked to see things from a different perspective to allow yourself to stop grieving because i feel like you are stuck in some sort of like a hurtful face do you know what i mean like maybe you haven't moved on from someone in the past because the ten of swords is a completion it's the end of a cycle yes it is painful but it is something that you needed to do you needed to pass through it in order for you to start fresh do you know what i mean the hangman is here which means you know you're being asked to see things from um upside down you know like a different perspective sometimes when we see things you know when we are too focused on things it's hard for us to get out of it you know sometimes a problem is not as big as it looks or as it seems because you know it's just because that we are so up close to it that we are so focused with this thing with this problem that we think that you know it's the only thing that's in our world but if we step away you know if we if we just you know take a step back or maybe three steps back or you know just realign ourselves and see things from a different vantage point then we will realize how small this thing really is or maybe we will see that there is actually a way behind it do you know what i mean so i feel like spirit just wants you to work on yourself or work on that okay i see you've been you have been working really hard to get away from the ten of swords energy because it is hurtful it is painful but it is something that you needed to go through okay in order for you to realize that you know things are not always as they seem they seem you know there are still things that you know you can work your way around it and all you need to do is to just work on yourself and you know focus on that be master your own heart master your own mind okay yes it is painful look at that that the eight of coins is not a card that usually represents someone who's hurting while they're doing something they're mastering their craft usually someone like in the traditional tarot this is someone who's just basically kind of like on their workbench working you know but in this deck specifically this is someone who's working with like a, a like a, a pentacle or pentacles that are made of thorns and she's crying you know and she's not looking at the the geese flying behind her because she's just so focused focus on the task so spirit is just reminding you to not just focus on the hurtful things focus on the lessons that you all that you're also taking away from the situation okay lastly for finances what is it that they need to know please spirit in terms of finances ten of cups two swords two of cups wow okay for your finances you're looking good i see you having some sort of harmony in terms of um your finances there could have been huh okay because this was kind of like a finance reading as well right earlier but i feel like <laughs> okay spirit is saying that you will get the the wish fulfillment that you need or that you're seeking for this is your dream being realized there's going to be a lot of harmony in your finance you know money business career work all of that two of swords <laughs> and we have um the choice card also here for the lover so i feel like you know there's there's really a need for you to open up your eyes to see things for how they truly are and to be able to make a decision okay the two of swords is a, is a card of indecision but once you're able to find the um the partner okay 
two of cups doesn't always have to be a romantic partner once you're able to find a partner who's going to support you all throughout in your business or in your career or in this project that you're launching you will have the ten of cups so just be mindful of the, d the choices and the decisions that you make okay because you you were promised um, ten of cups here so just you know two of swords okay maybe it could also mean that two of swords could also mean i don't know maybe there are just some fears right now for you you know with the, with the, with work or maybe you're trying to resign from a job and hopefully you're, you're you're partnering up with someone for work it's going to be as soon as you overcome your fear it's going to be very um sorry it's my cat um it, it's going to be very successful okay so to end the reading let's just get advice cards for you life allow yourself to receive okay maybe someone is trying to give you information about someone okay please open your mind okay open your mind about the people that you deal with it's all you know you can't always say okay I'm, i know this person from high school or i know this person from grade school i grew up with this person or you know this is like my cousin's cousin you know it always open your mind allow yourself to receive information okay because sometimes we get to i don't know, like we trust we're very trusting of people and yes, well, that is a good trait. Allow yourself to receive information, okay? That is what just Spirit is saying, to have an open mind. Um, for love, Spirit, soothe your soul. Yes, baby, you need to soothe your soul, okay? I feel like you have been hurting a lot. And you need to give yourself some time to heal. And you need to heal. And you need to focus on yourself, okay? Don't focus on the pain. Focus on how... Focus on the gain. Gosh, okay, Spirit. <laughs> spirit is rhyming <laughs> don't focus on the pain focus on the gain okay focus on what you will be getting out of the situation and you know like i said earlier the wisdom that you will bring along with you not just for this you know time in your life but for other situations that may arise okay in terms of finances spirit go with the flow yeah like i said you know again fear there was some fear here earlier remember when i said the two of swords there, there might be some sort of fear um sometimes it's yeah it may be a little bit difficult to release the fear but sometimes what, what's needed is for us to just go with the flow and um if it feels right then you know do it okay but again be mindful of this okay because i feel like this is also like the life part i feel like this is also kind of like work related okay that is what i have for you group number one if sorry group number two if this reading resonated with you please send me in the comment section below i would love to hear your thoughts i hope this helped you in some way if this um is something that you're interested in like pick a card readings please consider subscribing to my channel i do post maybe one or maybe two readings per week um but yeah other than that, thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you again soon in one of my future readings. Bye! Hello there beautiful beings from group number three. If your intuition guided you to select this carnelian, this is going to be, or the wheel of the year tarot, this is going to be your reading. Kindly be reminded that my readings are timeless, so whenever you find this video, that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from spirit. Also, these are general, so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. I apologize if my voice is a little different that's because i'm not wearing a mic right now because i'm charging <laughs> um, so this is your um, dashboard reading which means we're going to have a look at the energy surrounding you so that we can give you the guidance that you need to move forward okay thank you so much angels and spirit guides for joining me in this reading for group number three what do they need to know most please spirit thank you so much i'm truly truly grateful what do they need to know most in terms of life, love, and their finances or business? Please, thank you so much. What do you need to know most? Oh. Uh, we have the Three of Wands. The Two Swords. And the King of Wands. I feel like you are someone who is trying to decide whether you want to move away or I feel like you know there is some sort of travel here I'm really sensing like 
you want to step out of where you are right now you're really eager maybe you're feeling a little bit stir crazy maybe you want to travel maybe you want to go out there you know but there's still some fears you're being faced with two um maybe there's a decision that you need to make because i'm sensing that you're being faced with two like a crossroad okay that's the energy that's coming through with this with the two of swords here i feel like um you're deciding to maybe fly out of the nest it, it seems or maybe just go on a vacation and you're wishing something you're wishing something to change you're wishing for something to to be different okay and you're finally making steps you're finally deciding to go ahead but you have two options here because because of the crossroads okay or maybe you're maybe the crossroad itself is deciding whether you want to stay or maybe you want to move forward so take it how it resonates but definitely what's going to come out of this is i feel like you're going to this thing is going to break you out of your shell sorry break you out of your shell and it's going to birth the king of wands in you okay king of wands male or female it doesn't matter this is just the energy of the king of wands this is someone who's you know who's uh um is someone who's um very very passionate someone who's uh, who's a natural leader okay that's the energy that's just what i wanted to say and you are going to make your own um path you know it seems so you're going to it's like you're gonna carve your path okay so i feel like you know this could be work related this could be i don't know just you want maybe you just wanted to, to go on a vacation you know somewhere you've never been before and you want to do it alone or basically this is going to you know birth a different side of yourself that's a little bit more um powerful you know you're going to stand in your power that's what i'm hearing how about love what is coming through in terms of love please for group number three what do we need to know in terms of love please spirit thank you so much um the eight of pentacles the six of cups and the nine of cups so oh, okay you're working on something i feel like maybe someone from the past is going to come back okay perhaps you are Hmm. perhaps you're trying to reconcile with someone but definitely someone is going to come back okay i feel like you're working on yourself to be a little bit um i don't want to say you're trying to change yourself to fit to this person's expectations but you know hey do you but you know you don't really have to do that do you know what i mean yes you can master yourself because you are yes you can kind of like um yes you can work on your on your own self okay you can work on your you want to find success in this in love or something i feel like you're kind of like working um to better yourself in terms of love i don't know well, this is kind of like strange but that is the energy that's coming through let me just what is it Okay, not not gonna be for everyone, but I'm sensing some some sort of like high standards here. So maybe, huh. maybe you're trying to manifest like someone in your life right now who's who, you know who, or maybe someone who's coming in your life was not up to your standards before, and maybe they have changed. Okay, maybe that's the reason why they're coming back because they have you know they're you know you could have been you could have met this person six years ago you know and it didn't work out and now you have you both have worked on yourselves okay that's the energy that's coming through earlier you were you both have worked on yourselves you both have worked on your standards or your or, or your um your your needs or your wants or kind of like um your your list um in terms of like finding a new partner i feel like you evolved basically and this person is coming back in so spirit is just giving you a heads up that if you decide to be with this person you're, you're going to have 
the nine of cups here which is your wish fulfillment so perhaps in the past you wish this person to be you know i i want you to be a little bit like this and you know they weren't ready for that so you maybe you you parted ways this is very specific so take it how it resonates okay just maybe get the gist of the story so now after time has passed and you you know luck is on your side we have the ladybug here so that's the energy that's coming through you, your wishes are going to be fulfilled once you decide to be with this person but you know i'm sensing you need to be a little bit more patient um with yourself as well okay not just with them but with yourself as well if it if this person doesn't automatically be exactly how you wish them to be um that's okay you know give them some time because like i said people change and they're not the same person that you were with six or seven years ago you know so just go with the flow and see how things are okay gosh sorry I wasn't finished. <laughs> okay, how about the finances, spirit? Finances, business. What do we need to know? Yes, this one. Five of cups. Three of pentacles. Seven of cups. Okay. Well, I see in the past or, you know, you could have been focused on um, some mistakes, some error. Maybe you you got, um, how do I say that? I don't want to say you get you got reprimanded at work or maybe there was some sort of like a misfortune in terms of your business i'm applying it to all okay so maybe you lost money or you know you invested poorly on something and you know you're you're focused on that spirit is saying to not focus on everything you know this is funny because the five of cups here everything is you know is um, spilled okay but even if everything is spilled you see flowers growing you know whereas you know it's barren behind her so try not to think of the loss think of what you gained out of it Do you know what i mean like for example yes you um perhaps you lost a lot of money but you gained wisdom you know perhaps okay um you invested in something and it didn't turn out the way that you were hoping it to turn out yes you lost money you lost coin but at the same time you learn you know you gain some knowledge that you know you're not going to do it again and next time you're going to invest in something else something that's better and you know it will require teamwork on your part okay we have the three of pentacles here the three of pentacles is a card that can represent uh you know teamwork competence planning a little bit more planning in terms of what you do and you know in terms of what you're um trying to accomplish you know look at you look at this painter and this painter is you know it is hard at work it's something very very beautiful you need to plan something first you know if you paint you need to plan it you, you can't just you know grab well you can <laughs> i'm not g gonna tell you what you can and can't do but basically you know in order for it to be like this masterpiece this painter planned what he wanted to do in this in this mural do you know what i mean so you need to um maybe collaborate with others work with others to you know um help you get back on your feet or whatever but basically the seven of cups is here to show you that there will be a lot of opportunities gonna, that, that will show up for you moving forward okay so if you're feeling you know sad or you know depressed for what has happened in the past you know you're gonna snap out of it um eventually okay i'm not gonna say when because it's not in the cards when but we're both hoping well you and i and the spirits and angels and spirit guides you know we are all hoping that you are going to be able to learn what you need to learn here in order for you to step out of that energy easily okay and then you will be met with you know the transformation that you you know that you are meant to undergo you will be met with a lot of different opportunities here with the seven of cups so you know just be careful and be mindful as well of what choices you will make next but you know you have learned so you know maybe that's the knowledge that you know that you will get out of this okay so to end this reading with advice can you please oh my goodness an advice please spirit thank you so much oh it's time to transform yes oh my god you know this one came out as well for group number one i think and it is very fitting for you as well it is time to transform so whatever it is like i said gosh you remember i said you were going to 
emerge or you're going to birth a new version of yourself and now is the time to do that so you know yes you have been wishing for this for a long time but eventually you're going to make the right choice to move forward okay get crystal clear get crystal clear on your expectations and ba in boundaries okay that is what is say um, spirit wants you to focus on in terms of your love life okay like i said earlier you both have changed and you're different people now but Yes, you have history with this person, but for the many years that you haven't been with them, you know, just be, be mindful of the things that you're going to say because you are kind of like setting the, um, the, the, how do you say that? You're setting the trend, okay, in the relationship. You're kind of like in the beginning, once this person comes back, you tell them, you get straight, okay, you tell them, hey, this is what I want, you know, this, these are my deal breakers. You don't just say it flat out, but once you get to talking then you express what you need and what you want you desire so that you know the both of you can work towards getting it or doing it at the same time or you know getting both of your needs met okay lastly support is all around you gosh you know what this reading is just very spot on so i'm, I'm truly, truly grateful to all my angels and spirit guides support is all around you okay so if you're feeling this um, sad energy here with the five of cups support is all around you okay collaborate with people you know, don't be afraid to seek help and definitely plan things out all right that is what i have for you group number three if this reading resonated with you please let me know in the comment section below i hope i was able to help you in some way um if this is your thing if you like um, watching pick a card readings i would recommend that you subscribe to my channel or please like the video or share it with a friend if you feel like it <laughs> thank you so much for being here again and i hope i see you again in one of my future videos bye